Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Tombstone Tourist. After spending the last couple days in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, I moved a few miles south on Interstate 85 to Spartanburg, South Carolina. I'm at the Green Lawn Memorial Park, where I'm going to be visiting the final resting place of a true legend of the NASCAR Winston Cup Series. And personally, he's my all-time favorite driver, the man we know as the Silver Fox, David Pearson. David Pearson was born here in Spartanburg, South Carolina on December 22, 1934. As a youth, he worked in the area of garages where he developed a keen interest in race cars. He started driving on the area dirt tracks at the age of 18, and early on, David was recognized as a cool and calculated wheel man, a skill that he would take to NASCAR. He made his NASCAR Grand National debut in 1960, starting 22 races. And he was named the 1960 NASCAR Rookie of the Year. In 1961, he got his first NASCAR Grand National Series win when he took the checkered flag in the World 600 at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Throughout the early 1960s, David ran a lengthy schedule. In 1966, he decided to run the full season, winning 15 of 49 events on his way to his first of three NASCAR championships. As the 1970s rolled around, David had advanced his reputation of being a sly, calculated competitor and was dubbed the Silver Fox. In 1972, David joined the Wood Brothers based in Stewart, Virginia. It was while driving the famed number 21 Wood Brothers Pure Later Mercury, David would enjoy his greatest success, winning 30 Winston Cup races over a six year period in the number 21. David was a player in what many believe was one of the greatest finishes in all of motorsports. During the last lap of the 1976 Daytona 500, the King, Richard Petty, was leading David down the backstretch. The two raced side by side through turns three and four, and as they came off the fourth turn, headed toward the trial and checkered flag, they crashed, sending both cars spinning into the infield. Petty's car stalled, but David pressed in the clutch on his car, and it stayed running, allowing him to limp his battered race car across the finish line to win his only Daytona 500. It was really one of the sport's most dramatic finishes. Over a career that spanned more than 25 years, David notched 105 Winston Cup wins, 113 poles, and a staggering 366 top 10 finishes. He was inducted into the National Motorsports Press Association Hall of Fame in 1991, and into the International Motorsports Hall of Fame in 1993. And in 2011, he was inducted into the NASCAR Hall of Fame in Charlotte, North Carolina. David Pearson, the Silver Fox, passed away at the age of 83 on November 12, 2018. I think the inscription on his crib says all that needs to be said. Simply the best that he was. Well, I'm going to end this video here in Spartanburg, South Carolina. If you found this video interesting, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you have a favorite NASCAR or David Pearson memory, be sure to leave me a comment. 
Always enjoy hearing from you. I have a lot more videos coming in the weeks ahead. If you want to be notified when I post a new one, be sure to ring that bell and subscribe. For now, remember, life's a journey. Be sure to take time and enjoy it. Until next time, I'll see you down the road. So long, everyone.